Hello. We love you. We care about you. You're in our prayers. Wherever you are, whatever time you find this, we invite you to join us not only in watching and listening, but also in worship and prayer and praise. This week, as we do each week, we will be meeting in the sanctuary at 1030 for worship on Sunday morning. You're welcome to join us by Zoom if you choose to do so. If you come to church in person, please bring a mask. We wear masks indoors. We do have a fellowship time out on the patio at which masks are optional. We also have a Zoom fellowship in the afternoon on Sundays from 2.30 to 3.30. You're welcome to join us for that as well. The Zoom links are available in the email that came with this video. On Tuesday morning, we're having our book group. The book this month is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, and it's about growing up in South Africa. We have our council meeting on Tuesday evening, and then on Wednesday in the morning this time, we have geopolitics. We usually have that discussion in the evening, but one of our members is in Paris, and because we are meeting by Zoom, it is possible for all of us to be together and include John Bynan as well. The topic this month will be Afghanistan. We've been hearing a lot about Afghanistan in the news, but we rarely get insights into the place, the people, the politics, the reasons behind the things that are happening now and that have happened recently. We invite you to join us if you'd like to have a deeper understanding of the situation in Afghanistan. Coming up on Saturday, October 30th, not this week, but next week, will be the fall meeting of the Eastern Association of our Conference of the United Church of Christ. There are always excellent sessions worth attending, and this year it's easy because it will be on Zoom from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock in the morning. We'll get out more information about links and how to connect. And on Monday, November 1st, Karen Fry is working on plans for another outing, this time to Oak Glen to see the fall foliage and to go visit the apple orchards. If you're interested, please give Karen a call or call the church office. Our call to worship today is from the fifth chapter of Hebrews. Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest. Christ was appointed as priest by the one who said to him, you are my son, today I have begotten you. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications. He prayed to the one who was able to save him from death. He was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation. He became the source of salvation for all who obey him. Let us pray. O loving God, we give you thanks for your love made known to us and made complete in Jesus Christ. We thank you for his words, his actions, his self-sacrifice, his gift of life, his gift of new life. We thank you for the lives that we live and all that is necessary to support them. We thank you for the food that we have, for the houses we live in, for the people that are around us. We thank you for our days of good health and for your love and care in our days of poor health. We pray for those who are sick and hurting. We pray for those who are lonely and discouraged. We pray for those who are wrapped up in conflict. We pray for those who live in places where there is no peace. We pray for those who live in places where there is no justice. And we thank you, Lord, that we can be agents of your love in this world, that the love of Christ can work through each of us for the sake of all of us. 
We pray for those who grieve, those who are near to us and those who are far away. We trust in you. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please watch for the other video.